Hi and welcome to Basement Projects. I bought this quick change tool post and I wanted to show you my first impression of it. So let's take a look. When it was delivered, everything was covered with oil. I cleaned most of it off, but you can still see a few stains that I missed. I have the habit of taking everything apart because I want to know how it works and looks on the inside. This nut is for holding the tool post on its plate or later on the machine. Looks to me like some imperial fine thread. The knob for the handle isn't that great. Looks kind of cheap and has a few scratches on it. The handle looks way better and the threads have a good finish. The bolt for mounting the tool post on a machine is really thick, at least thicker than the original one on my lathe. The base plate is just a piece of flat steel with a threaded hole in it. I think in most cases you don't even need it for your machine, but it's nice to have it. The main part of this tool post is the housing with the wedges. You can also get this tool post with a piston type lock, but I think this design is superior. This cylinder holds everything together inside the housing. Looks good, even if you only see the top of it. This spindle moves the wedges inside the housing. It was covered in white grease, but I removed it because I wanted to have a good look at the surface beneath it. The housing itself looks quite strong and beefy. All the contact surfaces are grinded. The machined areas of the wedges have a decent finish. In a few spots you can still see scratches and marks from manufacturing. But overall, not bad. The tool holders here are the most common ones. There is still a little bit of oil on it. The four screws with an Allen head are for holding the tool. The back side is nicely machined to fit the tool post with its wedges. The long screw on the top is for the height adjustment. For now I can only test the tool post in my vise. I still have to fit this to my lathe. For a first impression this will be more than enough. You just slide the holder on and turn the handle clockwise. The wedges went down and clamp the holder tightly to the tool post. Turn the handle counterclockwise and you can take the tool holder off. Here is another view and a test of both sides of the tool post.
Let's finish with my opinion about this tool post anti holders. The finish of every part is not perfect, a few scratches and marks, but overall quite nice. Everything fits and moves as it should be. Quite a sturdy design, and I think it will be a good attachment for a good price. Bye and thanks for watching.